In this video, we're finding the equation of a tangent line to the function f of x equals sine pi x at x equals 0.5. So first, we'll get the point on the function where the tangent line should touch. And we're plugging in x equals 0.5. And then we want to find the y value corresponding to that. So that's just f of 0.5. That's the sine of 0.5 pi or the sine of pi over 2. And that's 1. So the point where the tangent line touches is 0.5 comma 1. And then we look for the slope at this point. And that's going to be the first derivative evaluated at x equals 0.5. And we have to start by finding the derivative in general, f prime of x. And this requires the chain rule. I take the derivative of sine pi x with respect to pi x. And that just gives me cosine pi x. And then the chain rule says I have to tack on the derivative of pi x with respect to x, which is just pi. So I'm going to put that out in front. And when I evaluate that at x equals 0.5, I get pi cosine of 0.5 pi, or pi over 2. But the cosine of pi over 2 vanishes. So the slope of our tangent line is actually 0 here. And we're looking at that tangent line touching at a local extremum. Then when we plug into the point-slope formula, I have y minus the known y-coordinate, which is 1, equals m, that's the slope, times x minus the known x coordinate, and everything on the right hand side vanishes. And the equation of the tangent line is simply y equals 1. That's a horizontal line. So if we bring in an image of this function, we can see what's going on here. Sine pi x is our basic sine function, but it has a period of 2. And when I look at x equals 0 0.5, this is actually the location of a local maximum of this sine function. And I see that the tangent line touches exactly at the top of that hill and has a slope of 0. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful, check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left, or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.